Franco. I am a midwife for evolution and I take people through authentic adulthood initiations. I give myself nine minutes and the my the title of the this talk is Beyond Patriarchy and Matriarchy. What about a, a next epochal culture called archiarchy? Archiarchy is the name that a bunch of people who have been researching and exploring culture and culture design and conscious culture design and upgrade have been coming up with, which would be the archetypally initiated men and women, human beings on this planet. How, how can they create a completely new set of traditions and ways of relating and ways of um, learning, ways of living, ways of being born, ways of dying, ways of cultivating, ways of doing anything that it is in life. So I loved what Jody you said about, you know, the the war economy, the, the and the economies for actually for war, that they're based the research that we've done in possibility management, which is the field of research that I am a part of possibility management, is about seeing what this current globalized culture, but actually a lot of other cultures before the globalized culture, were cultures or our cultures that are, have a level of responsibility that is very low. Meaning, you know, if we divide different levels of responsibility, like zero responsibility, like human beings take, taking zero responsibility for their life on earth, we usually those people are not really allowed to participate a lot in society because they cannot take responsibility or just will simply not take responsibility. So they're usually protected, usually from being a danger to themselves or society. They definitely don't take positions of power and authority in in a bigger scale. And so that's zero authority, zero responsibility. Then you come to child level responsibility. And when I say child level responsibility, I don't mean the responsibility of children. I mean, supposedly adults that are acting at a child level responsibility. And so if you think about it, who makes a mess when a, when a child makes a mess, who cleans it up? Well, usually it's other people, it's the parents, it's the carers, it's the adults around. But current modern modernized culture is patriarchy basically is making a lot of messes with not a lot of intention of cleaning it up especially the people and the structures that make those messes they don't have so much intention of cleaning it up they're leaving in for other countries to clean it up other generations to clean it up you know from nuclear waste war to everything um and so and then we have teenager level of responsibility, which is taking a bit more responsibility, but it is forced. It is it is not coming from the natural generosity of, of the people. It is to look good, to have more um, followers or have, you know, this, this virtual signaling that exists very much, not only on social media, but also in corporations. Let's do this sustainability um, policy so that we start looking good, so that our brand looks good, but it does not come from an authentic um, design for caring, for the policies of care, of real care for the places and, and people. So that's teenage level of responsibility and child level of responsibility. And then we have adult level of responsibility, which would be, I make a mess, I clean it up. So a company makes a mess, a company, the company is designed to clean it up or a group of people makes a mess, makes a big party in their streets, uh, mine something while they, they, they're putting things back, not just extracting, but putting things back so that it, there's a kind of sense of equilibrium. And then there are cultures that, or people that are operating at higher levels of responsibility. And many of you, 
are actually operating at higher levels of responsibility because you are cleaning messes that you did not create. So NGOs, a lot of a lot of activist groups, a lot of uh, organizations are doing this. So these people are taking more responsibility. They're taking um, unfair, let's say, unfair level of responsibility because they're taking responsibility for things that are beyond what they created. And then there is this um, way of relating to responsibility that could be radical, radical level of responsibility where nothing is, there's no blame. There is no other person that's going to create that thing that you want, that that is possible not just for yourself, but for the whole earth. And it, there, it's possible to, to operate, to live life at a level of responsibility where anything that you want to happen in the world that you get to be at source and you get to be, you, you can even be how am i responsible for war not happening in the whole world and so what i mean to have these questions would mean to create these quests this life quests that then create movements and create these um organizations and create a, a big big epic um life paths and collaborations between peoples and so if we think about all these levels of responsibility modern culture is at a child child and at best teenager and so there's a necessity of authentically growing up how do we grow up most people in this world to at least adult level responsibility and it may be even higher because nowadays we are needing regenerating the earth, not just keep it to an equilibrium. And so archiarchy is a proposed, is it's the name of the culture that is already emerging on this planet that is about initiating. It's not perfect. It's not idealized. It's not a utopia. It is a culture that is already standing up and, and already emerging in many different places and including the, in how I've heard also, Jody and Van Guyu speaking, it's it's already in, in the work that you do, this way, new way of collaborating, this new way of creating that comes from um, a radical level of responsibility of taking a stand for something archetypal. And so for those, for those movements to exist, for those projects to exist, the people at hand need to authentically grow up, need to become adults not just um in bodies of adults but emotional adults so using their feelings for example um to to navigate their their lives and their anger that means facing anger facing fear facing sadness facing joy and using them responsibly using them to create and it would also mean to to organize in circles and so this this the as we know like the hierarchical patriarchal structure what it does it permits it allows in in its design that the that there's one person or few people at the top and who are the people who get to climb the ladder to be at the top well that's people called psychopaths or people who train themselves to be psychopaths so that are the only people who are willing to do anything to come to the top of the hierarchy and regardless of what they do and so making structures that that are organizing structures that are circles that are tours which is like a donut with nothing in the middle that where people's engagements and 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 geniuses can come to life so i love also jody what you said that there's this this crisis of imagination crisis of learning how to collaborate because there's so much redesign of the culture that we can do based on a new level of responsibility and so i i only have also about 30 seconds i just want to say that there's over of over 10,000 people on this earth exploring what is archiarchy and taking their steps to initiate themselves to go through authentic initiations so that they can stand at the at this um, bridge and create a completely new culture. And so, and what we discovered is women, women go, go first. They are, they're more 
flexible, more malleable in creating a new culture. And so we have this amazing project called Women of Earth. And so I'll send the, the links out here and invite you to explore it. Thank you. Thank you.